Okay, so I'm just flashing a bunch of ECUs. Um, and on the side, I'm just back and forth trying to get something done. Uh, I don't know if you guys actually realized, but uh, the car has a little bit of miss. So uh, we've been trying to connect the uh, scanner to uh, find out what's going on, but scanner doesn't seem to connect. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm really guessing uh, <clears throat> it is uh, one of the like stupid wire or like one of the wire just got cut because this was from an accident car when we pull out the whole engine uh, and transmission from this person. His car was like on fire and uh, something got like, so something got like kind of melted and I don't know. Obviously I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, probably have something to do with the fuse box, but I do have Sandy's original like harness upstairs. So instead of just wasting time going back and forth, cause I pretty much uh, was doing that yesterday, trying different things, you know, swap out, <clears throat> swapping out some sensors and stuff like that. Sometimes it does that too, but so we'll probably do that. The car drives and everything, but I want to make sure that I'll be able to beat stuff with the scanner. So anyhow, that's uh, that's the goal. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna probably have um, Jake to put it in because that's just gonna be a you know straightforward stuff. But today i will probably spent a little bit of time because I have to go out for a bit to uh, take my kids to the piano. So I got like an hour and a half. So I'll probably take this time to uh, make some bracket for the tail lights on each side and uh, probably make a latch for this trunk to close and doesn't come off when I'm driving. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, back in the shop. It's like 80 degrees out, so it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, so I, I was worried that uh, what I did was uh, I had some, uh, just another little bar that was, that we picked up a while ago, a long time ago. So what this is gonna do is basically go right under the tail light. I bent it here clean. So that's like a 45 degree and another like 20 degree on each side. I mean, this side is perfect. Uh, all it needs is just uh, some nuts, factory nuts, that's it. But this side, because of the damage before, um, I'm missing a bunch of metal here. So I just have to put extra metal here to support it, but I want to redo it. It needs to be done, it's just basically kind of bring it up, Ted. Before it was just sagging. And uh, so it's nice and clean, really nice and clean uh, metal here. And uh, I also wanted to, initially I wanted to put something here to uh, connect to the latch or I could have gone to put something out here or over here to just use like a like a race hood latch or something here but I'm just gonna go with the factory uh, system I'm gonna actually extend this here so it clips in so it's uh, it's gonna be a, a trunk that's I'm not gonna manually open it it's gonna be just like factory that's all we need probably have to extend these uh, wires but yeah I'll figure it out but um yeah that's what I'm gonna do here but I'm very happy with um, how that bend actually came out I'm actually getting a little bit better and better um, so everything's just nice and straight as you can see happy with that and if I actually lose a bumper this is what it's gonna look like so it's really clean really clean I need to kind of fix up this bumper here a little bit put the uh, those uh, add-on pieces from arc performance wide body kit I'll need some support for each side because it's missing chunk of metal here so that's what I'm gonna do I didn't know this took this long it's like 9 30 already but I just kept on going uh, but here's the um, outcome so this thing lines up but again I was literally missing the whole quarter panel before also all the supports from inside which is the metal holds the uh, the tail light and everything so what I did to hold everything including the bumper 
uh, to make another support. So this is not perfect yet, and uh, the trunk doesn't line up. But, so here's the uh, little uh, band I made. This actually holds the tail light and kind of guides it. I still have to kind of support this, but this will not go anywhere. And this right here will actually support the bumper. I still have to kind of weld everything together later. And it is missing this piece here, so it looks a little off, but they're actually the same um, angle and everything. <clears throat> and another thing I had to do for the tail light, let me show you. I'm going to take that tail light off. I had to make this little support here, which I'm going to trim off later, because I wasn't sure how it's going to look. So basically, um, I had to make another support here for the bumper. So this is holding this tight, and, and I was never able to get this lined up before, but now that I have the uh, Arc Performance body kit, that actually kind of gives me a guide. Just has to match with the other side, and I kind of have a play with it. Uh, it didn't fit perfectly, uh, just because probably the bumper or something fit an issue from this car. So I could kind of uh, bring this up to kind of make it to line up better. Um, and also I had to just kind of give it a little bit of support here by adding another metal to here. So basically this should be a whole one piece here as well, as well as this thing here. Now this doesn't serve any purpose but just putting the bolt, putting the uh, tail light all the way in, that's all. So I had to just kind of have to tech weld it here, which once I take it off, I'll grind it off and make it clean. Also, kind of clean up here, chop off the metal that I don't need, and take off all this duct tape. But now everything lines up, as you can see, and I'm very, very, very happy with it. Because I wasn't even able to use um, this Clisco or Clasco, whatever you want to call on this here because I was missing basically chunk of metal here so I had to weld this thing if you could see and kind of trim it off just to have the tail light go in so this side I'm very very happy with it this side lined up no problem because you know it wasn't really missing big chunk of it also the quarter panel was intact so once I put the bolts in here everything will pretty much line up and I just had to uh, redo that little um, add-on piece here it'll, it'll be the end of it so I'm very happy with how everything came out as well as the jack point you can barely see it but it's right there where is it oh there you go so it's right there the exhaust comes out here like I want it so you, you could barely see it too. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably trim this piece right here where it says Tomei and have the uh, toe come out of there. Because right now, I, I'm not done with the bash bar. I'm only going with the side bash bar because just scoop trunk is very short. So this does not serve purpose for like bash bar, bash bar, but just going to be a frame. So once I have this, um, extend it here have the the toe hook come out from the right in the center that's that's the goal and I might do it today but um I didn't know it was like 9 30 already I made that little bar right there which I'm not really really happy with because it's a super center but uh, what I'm doing is to you probably wondering why I had the chain that was hooked up here before that's because that's the only size of metal I could use as like just the junk, uh, junk metal that I have to utilize the factory hook. So basically I just chopped off one of the, the chain here and now I'll be able to use the, uh, use the factory switch and utilize this, this uh, truck latch. I just need that little bump stop thing uh, that comes with the factory. You just got to put it in the trunk, that's all. So yeah, uh, we were doing a little more work to the car. And what we were doing was just to clean cut unnecessary metal. So this is what it looks like. So keep it in mind, we just haven't, we really haven't trimmed it yet. Uh, we're just going to have to flap this kit, but it's just going to make a lot of mess. So we just stopped here today. It's like 8.30. So this is what it looks like. 
that's where we're gonna stop today we just started working on the seat now it's mounted just has to be bolted down and uh and that's it